Today we're in beautiful sunny Strathalban. We're here for the Waterbug Bio Blitz. It's a biannual event that happens in May and November at the start and end of the season. We're here working with dedicated volunteers who for the past five years have been coming and assisting us in along the Angus and Finnis to assess the water samples of the region. They're looking at macroinvertebrates, turbidity, pH and salinity and this in turn is data that is used at the national level and by government departments. We're so grateful for our volunteers to come out here and help us. Two habitats where possible at each site. The flowing water, shallow flowing water over the rocks like that, which is called the riffle, and the pool or the edge. Well, I just love being outdoors and around creeks and with other people and learning stuff. I consider it all my backyard, but you also get to places that you, you drive past all the time and you haven't poked around in these creeks and water systems. I just like to see how, what the water's doing, where it's going and how we can look after it better and manage our creek systems, our dam systems better. So for us to identify these species, we use these identification sheets, which are a good way for volunteers to work out what species of bugs and beetles they've got that they've found in their, in their sample sites. Volunteers, their job now is they've gone out into the field, they've collected the samples, and now we come back to what we call the lab here. And now they're analysing their sample as to what's in this bag of, of detritus and water. And we're trying to assess, um, I guess, diversity of species, and it will help uh, Noah tell us about is the site uh, is it healthy? Um, some of these species are quite sensitive, so if there's a change in the stream, or if maybe there's excess phosphates or nitrates, then they, that some of these species wouldn't be able to survive. So it goes to a National Water Watch database, and it's also used by the department for their Flows for the Future team. This data is really important because we've got experts verifying it. We've got our colleges here today, Chris and Doug, and they're the ones who oversee it and ensure that our citizen science data is able to be used at a national level. The first one I've seen uh, the dams and flies, as I said, I just picked out a um, meniscus midge. Um, are, they, are they sensitive? Um, not particularly. They're um, a little bit sensitive, but they're uh, they're not going to be the ones that are indicating that we've got a wonderful site. Okay. But oh, uh, just the diversity in this particular sample is probably um, uh, greater than than what I've seen in any of the others today. So, so even though the there's diverse. some introduced fish in here, yep. we've still got a whole heap of other native macroinvertebrate water bugs. Yep. Um, are they able to still live even with those introduced species? Yeah, the, the fish the fish are more of a hassle for the native fish. The gambusia will um, uh, nip the fins of native fish ah. and um, cause uh, much stress amongst them. So, but uh, you haven't seen any native fish so far no, in here? We're, no. no, and we're trying to usually, because the, the, the gambusia live in the shallow edges, you tend to collect a lot of them when you're getting invertebrate samples, whereas the uh, native fish are often in deeper water or um, uh, living in other habitats. We hope you enjoyed our Citizen Science Waterwatch Fire Blitz Day. If you'd like to know more about volunteering, please contact the Hills and Fluro Landscape Board, either our Mount Barker or Wollonga office. We'd really like to keep working with you. Thank you.